Sally. So lovely to meet you. Um, so I think it's fascinating about this film. It's like a really extraordinary story about quite sort of an ordinary woman, but it's also you know a really interesting character study. So um, what appealed to you, and how did you kind of get under the skin of this character? Everything. Um, not only the people I'm working with, but uh, her. She's extraordinary, and everyone knew it was a worldwide sensation. And um, yeah, and hopefully will be again. And I, ju I just think she's extraordinary and need people like that and women like that. And hopefully people, even though it's, will go and read her book again and source out that the documentary and relearn the facts and what. I, I, yeah, I, 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 you just need more people like that in the world and more women like that doing, uh, doing what. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Uh, I'm, this is awful. God, you need to, to eradicate that. I'm so sorry. Uh, and and, and work, I'm so sorry. I working need to say it better. No, you need not to go at back all. Down not the line. Um, and I think you know working on this incredible set with you know Stephen Coogan, Stephen Frears. So and there's kind of an offbeat charm to it. There's there's comedy there as well as the drama. So what was it? Your experience of making it? Um, yeah, th there is. I think um, life is both um, funny and uh, um, and he's a king. At, you know, Steve is king at that. And I think the the, the, the script was so clever and it was had this lightness of touch. Um, I think it could be. I think that was a good sort of counterpoint to. Um, what could be perceived as a heaviness of the material, but I, I just found it fascinating every step of the way, the history of it, every the time, the real line timeline of it, all that she battled. Uh, I'm not answer, I'm answering one question and then going back to the other. I'm so sorry, um, but I yeah, I have always loved Steve. He's a genius. He can do no wrong. And having him on set as well, he just they're quite open to playing with material. And, um, and keeping it alive. The audio um, piece that I heard very early on when she was talking about her father, and that was a, a hook for me. Her obsession with and pursuit of the truth, really, and her high uh, linked with her father in her past. That, that sort of was key for me. There's always one thing that hooks you in, and you're not and it's always different. And that I always kept going back to what there was um, how important that was to tell the truth above all else. And that's sort of quite a through right through it, striving for this, that it's, it's a pursuit of that and to honour yourself and to be true to who you are. So I, I think I... And also not being afraid of your own um, intelligence. She's so incredible. She's just a powerhouse in that way, not giving up. And even though she always kind of, I think, People tend to question if you don't have um, a degree or, or numbers after your name or you don't have an expertise in a particular field. Um, but she's not an amateur historian in any, even though she's described as such, and of course she is. So lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. I hope that's good. Make this wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, really. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's a real honor. Thank you.